Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. Before we get started, let's get today's shout out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Dan Dunham. Dan Dunham was first to say first on one of my recent videos, and thus was this shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I have a review of a neat new quadcopter. This is the Yuching, Yucheng uh, Goshawk drone. Very basic drone, folks. It's a beginner's drone. Um, it has headless mode, one key return, but that is about it. Now, why am I reviewing this? My channel is dedicated to beginners, you know, to bring beginners into this hobby. You know, that's it's been that way since the start. And uh, with that in mind, you know, I see a lot of beginners going out and attempting to fly uh, FPV racers, full-size FPV racers, or where they may be going out and buying themselves a, an expensive camera drone with GPS, and then they run into problems. Uh, all because they didn't bother to gain the basic skills you need to learn before you fly one of these. And you really don't need to go spend a lot of money to uh, get those basic skills. You can get by with a cheap, this one here is $19 quadcopter, you know, a under $20 quadcopter can learn, teach you a lot to get into this hobby. Okay, uh, with that in mind, this particular drone does not have altitude hold, um, is very basic, you know, you're going to need to learn the basics of throttle management, they call it. You know, keep the drone steady in the air and adjusting the throttle, which is this left stick. This drone, I think, may be good for that. We're going to go out and fly it today and, and see how well it actually performs. But let's go over what you get with this package. In the package, for $19, you get a screwdriver. <laughs> you get a 400 milliamp per hour battery. This is a very common battery, folks. 3.7 volt uh, LiPo with white low-C connector. You can find these just about anywhere, especially on Amazon if you're looking. Uh, you get a charger. It's a basic charger that's a US, that you plug into a USB uh, wall charger or into your computer, if you will. But uh, I would recommend using a USB wall charger for your phone uh, to charge it much more quickly than your uh, computer. You get two spare propellers. You get prop guards. And these prop guards are flying indoors only, folks. Don't use these outdoors or... Uh, wind comes along and this might blow away and also if you end up in a tree with these on <laughs> these are perfect tree hooks you have a, a christmas tree ornament for about a year <laughs> namely this <laughs> the drone itself let's go over it uh, again it's a very basic drone um, it just has an on off switch on the bottom it does have a port for a, uh, a camera so i guess they have a camera version also out there but i would recommend skipping the camera version and just s focusing on learning to fly with this particular drone um, they are of course, brushed motors. You're not going to get brushless in this price range. And this is its battery bay right there. So basic learn to fly drone. Let's go over its controller. Um, again, this is throttle, yaw, pitch, roll. Uh, this is for rates, this is so you can fly faster. Uh, this is for flips. You press this button, you can tell it which direction to flip. And again, it does have headless mode, which you press by that button there, and one key return, which you activate by pressing that button here. And it's on-off switch. These other two buttons are inoperative, and these are trim buttons. This is for pitch, and this is for roll, trimming out pitch and roll if, in case it's drifting. And finally, you get a instruction manuals, both in English and in Chinese. So, you know, you get a large set of instruction manuals. But again, you get this nice white thing, uh, directions showing uh, what all the buttons are for. And again, it, it talks about taking pictures and recording, but again, this is the camera's version for $19. So, that's the Yuching Goshawk. Let's take it out in the field and see how it flies. So, hope you enjoy this flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and we are out of my local flying field here. We're going to give the Goshawk drone a, a run for its money. <laughs> okay, we're going to start off by turning on the drone by hitting its on-off switch. I already have the battery plugged in and putting the drone on a flat level surface. And then turning on the transmitter and binding the transmitter to the drone by up-down movement on the throttle. And now we have throttle control. Now let's take to the air and see how it does. Okay, I have a little bit of a wind from my left here. Now this is the first thing most beginners should learn to do is how to hover the drone. Okay, even if there's a little wind. But it's hovering very well. Now let's see how it flies. I am in low rate. You know, the first thing I should have shown and demonstrated is let's land it real quick or bring it back over here and put it on the, on the landing pad. And I'm going to give it a little throttle, then turn off the transmitter just to see what happens if we lose control from the transmitter. 
A little more throttle. Transmitter off. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007. So that, <laughs> keep that in mind, folks. <laughs> it will take off on you. There is a possibility of flyaway with this drone. Unfortunately, it appears to be if you fly out of range. So keep this particular drone close, but it's a small drone, so it should be kept close. But let's see how it flies. Let's try high rate. Second rate, is there a third rate? Yeah, there is. Let's see how well it flies for once you gain experience with this drone. Not too bad. Let's go upwind and then Give it full yaw, I let the wind blow it by. Okay, that's the highest rate. So, go up wind. Pretty cool. <laughs> Can I do running uh, flips? Let's find out. Turning, back, turning around, coming back. Kind of. <laughs> Coming back the other way. So not a bad little journey to learn to fly with. Now that flyaway potential, everybody's going to get scared about that, but that is if you fly out of range of the transmitter. Again, this is something you should be, this particular drone you should keep close, okay? Because of its size mainly, because you'll quickly lose sight of this. So going down, see? I'm only out about 50 meters there and I'm losing sight of it. But that's about as far as you want to go with this particular drone. I <laughs> don't want to flip again. Let's see if I can get a flip the other way. Oh, we low battery already on that. So it's getting low battery. Warning, but we're going to fly it until it don't fly anymore. It doesn't feel like low battery though. But its lights are flashing. See, let's bring it up close and I'll show you. But its lights are flashing. So let's see what it does when the battery finally does kick out. But it gives you an early LVC warning. I think that's just an early LVC warning. I don't think it really is low battery yet. Because it's flying very well. It's got a lot of power in it. But yeah, this would be a reasonable learn to fly. There are other out there that are good to learn to fly. The old C-Max 5C, you can get that for about $30, I believe, $30 to $40 this, these days, and that is an excellent learn to fly drone, too. Eventually, you learn to do to fly like this. Now, one of the first things you need to do, again, is learn uh, throttle management. And what I like to do, is, or what I recommend people do, is just keep the back end pointed toward you like this, and the wind is coming from my left right now. Point it into the wind, and then just go out, and then back, and then adjust the throttle to try to maintain level flight. You know, this is a very basic step to learn to do, learn to control the throttle. Out and back, out and back. You just keep repeating that at your local sports field like I'm doing right now. Then the next thing you need to do is learn how to turn. You go out, turn, push forward, and come back. Then hover, turn, push forward, and go back out again. Hover, turn, push forward, and come back. You know, these are basic steps learning to fly. So, you know, you start off with hover, then you, you start, go into out and backs, then you go into turning out and backs, out, turn, push forward, and come back. And then eventually you start, you go out and use both, both sticks and learn how to do a banking turn. Okay, left bank, coming back down. I'm using both sticks here this time. Turn right, both sticks. That's how you do a banking turn. You, use, you turn both sticks in the direction that you want to turn. And again, this would be an appropriate, very appropriate learn to fly drone. Flying very well. And I'm right about that LVC warning being way too early. So, But you don't want to be doing flips anyways. That burns out motors. <laughs> so I don't recommend playing around with flipping. Yeah, it's a nice agile flyer. 
the Yuchang Gushawk. Let's try that one key, or headless mode. Headless mode button. Headless mode's activated. That's the headless mode will go in the direction when you push forward that it was pointed when you uh, took off, which was that direction. And you can rotate it. It don't care. I'm going left, right, forward, back, left, and right will always be in that direction when you're in headless mode. Now, when when you go down that direction and you hit one key return, the drone will fly back toward you. But that only applies if you are down that direction. Let's try that again. One key return. See? If you were anywhere else but down the headless mode direction, that drone might fly actually parallel to you. Let's show you that. See? Parallel and actually might fly away from you too. See? So keep that in mind too. Headless mode is not a cure-all. And one key return is not true return. I'm turning it off now. Uh, one key return, I guess you got to hold it down. Turn it off the headless mode. But the headless mode and one key return are not cure-alls, and I don't recommend using them, to tell you the truth, folks, if you're a beginner. Learn the basics of hover, out and back, and out and back turning, and then eventually transition to um, banking turns with using both sticks. So that's the Goshawk drone from Yuching. Not a bad little learn to fly drone. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.